I love it out here. Couldn't ask for a better place to be. In the wide open landscape of southern Colorado. The air, it's fresh. Sits a 100 acre ranch that nearly 3,000 Mustangs call home. The third one over? Yeah, I like that one a lot. Bronte Roberts is right here in the middle of it all. Hi, I am love their noses. She's considering everything. She got a nice face, a little bit of a dish. From head to... It's got a nice butt. Looking to adopt the perfect companion. They make you a better person, and I think they fill a lot of spiritual needs. These Mustangs come wild off the range. They're captured by the Bureau of Land Management and brought to this spot to be trained and cared for by men like Earl Kelly. We teach him from A to Z whatever you want. I get him to do some really cool stuff. Out here, the link between horse and trainer. It was a wild horse. Is the wild past they share. My crime was auto theft. I didn't have theft. 14 months I've been here at Four Mile. Three years. Earl has been in and out of trouble since 1994. Sometimes you grab a hold of things, sometimes you grab a hold of the wrong things. About halfway through a six year sentence for auto theft, he's been working in the wild horse inmate program for two years. At first, you're kind of like sentenced to being out here. But then some of them, just like me, they start liking it and they start loving it. Just getting her groomed out today. Earl and 64 other inmates care for thousands of wild Mustangs and burros. My family had horses, so I kind of had a little head start on a little bit. I've rode a horse twice before I ever came out here. They soon identify that the horses are the same as them. They both have a number. They both are behind prison walls, so to speak. You're proud when you get to send that horse to somebody else. Come here, buddy. That pride changes these men. Colorado Department of Corrections reports inmates in this program are 18% less likely to return to prison. Good boy, Jerry. I don't even want to go back. I want to spend every day out here, you know. Most of the trained horses end up working for a very special cause. Our biggest customer for the saddle horses is the United States Border Patrol. Men who once ran from the law, training horses to run down those who break the law. And they come here and we just put a lot of love and care into them and off they go. After years of working closely with these animals, Earl can look back at his past and see the error of his ways. I did things that I'm absolutely not proud of. Um, despicable. And you know, I'd say my, my mother didn't raise me to be like that. No guards, no fences, no wires. It's a taste of the life outside for Earl. This is freedom. It is. I don't have kids, but I got a few horses out here. That's the one. That's her? Really? Yeah. That's her. Across the ranch, Bronte has chosen her horse. 0067, she's a five-year-old mare. It's really exciting, it's odd, because I don't know anything about her, and she's mine now. When the horse leaves here, it's, to me, that horse made parole. A new life for an adopted animal. If you don't learn to know how powerful they are, they'll hurt you, but then they'll love you too. And in the middle of that, man, it changes your life dramatically. And a new lease on life for a changed man. When you're inside prison, you think of a million things you wish you were doing. When I'm out here, there's nothing. Nothing I'd want to be doing. I'm a new person, inside and out.